Like W class tramps. What's that, Plugger? Yeah, it's just like Plugger. Plugger's based on this. Trams, anyway. Um, well, how about we talk trains? Yeah, let's call Marlin in. Marlin, Marlin. Yeah. come on. I thought we were going to talk trams. Tram, <laughs> trains, <laughs> trolley, car, trolley cars. Is that a thing? Trolley cars, street cars. Street cars, what? Name Desire. Really? Yeah. What have you got for us today, Marlin? Uh, Welcome. I've yeah, got a guest story, uh, a guest from a guest. We do have a guest, but what's the guest? So Nick thinks it's an ice cream truck. An ice cream truck. Well, it I could be. I can't if, tell if you from, it. I can't tell from here. I think that if you can guess the vehicle of the day, then you are. You it's are definitely incredible. not an ice cream truck. Yeah. No ice cream in there. No, no ice cream for you, Beach. You've hey. had enough. What do you mean? I'm going to have an ice cream later. Um, yeah, sorry, Marlon. No, it's okay. I don't need to be sorry. Let's talk rail. Let's talk rail. I'm so, super excited. Trends. I love to learn when you're on. That's good. Um, so we've been talked about hate. We talked about N yes. class. We talked about HO. We talked mm -hmm. about some scenery in the past three or four episodes. What have we got here? Well, we just got just freshly arrived today. Mm -hmm. a restock of the Kui Classics brand. Um, they're double O gauge trams. Double O. And they're the um, the iconic. W class trams. What's that plugger? Yeah, it's just like plugger. Plugger is based on this. So these are the um, the quintessential classic Melbourne Melbourneian tram. Yes. Um, which are still in circulation doing the city loop. It uh, does the, the number thirty five, doesn't it? The most comfortable tram. That I, I mean, the the seats are so like cushy and the, yes. the, the, the cushioning job with it. Yeah. Yeah. They smell like an antique store. <laughs> Because it's kind of like a rolling antique store in a way. Well, it's, it's like, better than the modern ones. They smell like anything but an antique. No, store. but uh, but it's all wooden craftsmanship inside. Um, really? Yeah. So they're really nice. I, I can't remember the last time I even went on one. I used to catch a tram all the time when I was going to high school. What? Did you catch one of those free ones? Not a free one. I had to pay for it. Oh, because those old if you ones didn't now. Pay, then the ticket inspector came and threw you off. Because these old ones, they're only W class now. It's freebie, isn't it? No, it's, the it's, it's free in the CBD. Once you leave that, you're there. You go. Okay. But yeah, these used to be the only ones that were free. But anyway, so yeah. W class tram. But that that's back in the day when you had to pay because they never were that colour, were they? Yeah. City circles were never this colour before, were they? Well, they it wasn't City Circle before. I don't it was Melbourne I don't know the exact name, but like the original Melbourne Tram Network. And this is the colour scheme that they used. MTB? MTB. That's it. Melbourne Tram Bureau. Bureau. And um, yeah, this was the original scheme that they had. I'm making it up. And maybe. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting the wool pulled over my eyes. Is your cat made out of wool? Well, it could be. But yeah, it's a no, nice, nicely detailed little model. You know, yeah, it's beautiful. Have a closer look, look at it. Top. So yeah. it's called a tram. Yes. It's double O scale, but it goes on train tracks. Correct. That's weird. So what we had, a, I had an interesting discussion with somebody about this because this is an Australian model. Yes. And Australian. Model railways are modeled in HO scale. Yep. And double O is exclusively British. And I'm like, well, why would they release it um, in that scale? So it's one to 76, so a little bit larger scale factor than HO. Um, and I was informed that a lot of people who like trams also collect things like buses and trucks, and that's a more predominant scale. So I think that they made the decision based around that kind of a collector market mm -hmm. more than somebody who's who might be into model railways specifically. Mm. But either way, like even if even if you are modeling HO, the scale difference isn't so significant that um, I think it would be a problem. And I also don't believe anybody makes a running version of this in HO. No, no one else um, does. But yeah, you've they got, do it in end scale. They don't. But that would be really lovely to see. Well, that's a shame. Oh, well, that moves. Yeah. I was excited to do an in scale thing, but now I don't because I like a tram. So this has got the um, the very classic. What do you call these things again? Uh, pantographs. I think, pantographs. Yeah. yeah. So basically, the pantograph connects onto the power line on the top, mm -hmm. and whenever the train driver went to the end of a route, he would need to get off, go to the other side, and then put that um, release the um, the rope and guide it back onto the power. Don't they still have to do that now? They no, still they have to do it. No, they automate it. So some of the um, it's like having electric windows in your car. If you have a close look at the thirty-five W class, it's got a single pantograph on it from memory, which is automated type one, spring loaded ones. So I don't need to do that. You're yeah, just anymore. a tram file, aren't you? Oh, you oh, love it. oh this guy, undercover what, tram watcher. What file did you call me? Foamy. Oh, is that a foamer? <laughs> foamer. Foamer. Yeah, 
Sen sensitive words for some people. So, <laughs> um, but anyway, you've got nice details like mirrors and and um, you know a pilot. You know, pilot. Not, well, they call it a pilot on the front of a like a like a, a cow catcher pilot, I guess, to stop things from going under the front wheels. That's a people. Are you people? Um, you know, wiper, functioning headlight, to my knowledge. Um, and just really nicely detailed all around. Functioning Number, headlight, functioning to, headlight to my well, knowledge. We're I, hope, find well, out I hope that we, we can put that. I hope we can put that unknowingness to bed. Well, we we know, don't we? Because we were driving a million miles now before. I felt naughty. <laughs> I thought you would. You would definitely tell me off. Yeah. Well, no, you're you're fine. We had an emergency stop button. We, we, I've got a I've got a fail safe for you, Brett. I've got a fail safe. Um, That's right. But what should I'll, we do? Should we put on the no, track? No, yeah. I'll, and then, do you want to look at the other ones first? I'll put oh, this on the okay, track. Yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll make that the grand finale. How about All right, that? Okay, we'll put on the track. Um, and then maybe maybe we'll trust Brett with it. I'm not no, so sure anymore. Um, so let's have a look at these. So that's an in scale one. You said that oh, I made them. Well, it's, oh. a, it's an in scale working oh. part. We'll take the case. That's off, a restaurant one. It is. So these are produced by, so if I can get it off, because I'll be very delicate with it. Oh, that's got a little hooky bit on the bottom. Oh, there oh, we I go. I figured it out. Oh. <laughs> um, well done. So these are static display. So basically, what same tram, mean? but with all of the running gear taken out of it. So it's just a display model, but with the same level of detail as the running tram. So significant reduction in price. And if, if you were interested in owning just a nice scale model of a Melbourne tram in a nice display case, this is a really good option. Mm -hmm. And um, because it doesn't have the running gear in it as well, um, there's actually depth to the interior, whereas that you probably saw was half filled with um, the running gear, the motor and gearing and such. So Stone so. Thomas says, I have them running in San Francisco. Various ones from around the US have been brought in. And the ones in San Francisco are cable cars, aren't they? They've actually got a cable underneath the, the road. I think so. Onto. To my knowledge, yeah, yeah, they're not actually like, the, the power there's no power unit it's yeah. like they, they have get a, dragged a, around yeah cabling hoist system i haven't yep, been yep. i haven't been on one of those but i think they're really cool mm. but i think that when they sold a huge surplus of these a lot of them did get exported to the us yep so there yep. are w class trams all over the world now maybe not necessarily running but i remember the um they were practically giving them away really well, i don't yeah. i don't think a lot of people know that melbourne has the largest tram network in the world so they've been running all those you can never find one in when you want one though <laughs> So W classes go back, I don't know, they must be the 1920s, 1930s, right? Yeah, about and that. And so we're a lot of them around. And um, when they started upgrading them, there were so many that they that they were actually giving them away. If what anyone had a good reason to have one, they were giving them away. The government was giving them away. But then schools, anything educational. Yeah. But you had to deal with the logistics of moving something of this size and weight right, yourself. Man, so. it, just, you can't really drive it to your, just tell it your garage. Your but um, yeah, I mean, this, this is an iconic one. The restaurant tram... Um, for those who don't know, is like a a dining experience around Melbourne mm. by a tram. Oh, it was it um, recently it was just got before COVID that finished up. Oh, yeah. They, so, they, wouldn't, they wouldn't renew the lease. That's, that's right. unfortunate. But it was really quite nice to see. They had um, nice lights around. You, you, like it was distinctive. Like you knew the restaurant tram when you saw it. Yeah, um, it and was fact, sneaky. It was sneaky. And then on on the uh, on the inside, there's actually tables modeled with um, decals of what looks like. You know cutlery and plates and things like that so that's really nice if anybody had an ex like a positive experience with, with well, the I'm glad uh, it's not restaurant really cutlery, the way you're waving it around no it's on the floor it would be but yeah let's look at another one actually oh that's a bit of a classic this so is this, the this 80s is, one that's what i would have been sort of writing on i reckon it's a mix mix up. a mix branded one a so, branded one. i don't know if we've a had branded tram so the um, MT Melbourne tram, MTB. So yep. this was like the successor to the MTB, wasn't it? The Met. Yes. So and I think was... the Met encompassed all travel within it. It included trains and buses. I think it did. I think what because is now Metro Because that was Metro when they trains. were trying to use the, uh, the, the same ticket for everything. Because before they used to the scratch buy... The scratch and sniff ones. <laughs> the scratch and sniffy ones, yes. Do you remember the ever scratchy ones? Yes. We're probably the only people in the world that ever had those. They were yeah. a terrible idea. You just scratch everything. I mean, Hopefully, you won. It was won. like lottery. That was good. You'd buy a two hour <laughs> one for like 65 cents and they get to scratch it all off. I think a lot of people would have more of a personal connection with this one because, yeah. it, it, you know, it's a, a more recent vintage, I guess. Mm. Um, but you can't see it. You, you can't can look see at, it. Well, you can look at the window and see this one go around the double. Yes, part. you can. And, and that's one, This one here doesn't go. No, yeah. not at all. But 
well, this doesn't go either because it doesn't have any running gear. This no, is no, not but explainable. you know what I mean. But, <laughs> but you're right. They've repainted them exactly in the scheme. Um, and we also have these as a non-running display model as well. Yeah. They're, so they can buy all three of them as non-running. Correct. Yeah, that's an option that you have, whether you want something to put I on like a layout. that option. Yeah, it's a good option. But these are actually really popular for visitors to Melbourne. Are they? As, um, as like a keepsake or a gift. Because nearly everybody who comes to Melbourne will... Well, Almost as it's our 75th year, I think it's only yeah. only fitting that we sell heritage trams. So Stone you know? Thomas is in, what was that, San Francisco, wasn't it? They've got cable cars and trolleys. Okay, so that would be okay. considered trolley, right? Yeah. So they've been converted and they run around on the, the tram, on the mate. streets. It's a tram. <laughs> a tram. <laughs> yeah, all right, sorry. <laughs> all right. But let's have, um, have another look at our creation, our Melbourne tram creation that we've done. This is actually something that you... You created yourself, or you painted yourself, isn't it? I did. That's where I experimented, BJ experimented with it. some decals B as well. And BJ sort of painted it paint for me. And... So yeah, I did that for you because you said, yeah, let's do a restaurant trip. And that, just, that was never, a hard one. You just never gave it to me yet. So this is our, our own Hearn's Workshop resin 3D printed creation, the, uh, the so, comical trend. So yeah. that started life yep. as this. Is this what you're trying to say? That's exactly right. Let's have a look at that one. It looks nothing like it. Well, it's because you need to apply some paint and do some so somebody's modeled assembly. it that's the same base and everything yeah wow so, so that's what it began as the gray resin item and then after i painted it up we've got a restaurant that Comical. looks amazing you've done really well there beach thanks mate when are you going to pat me on the back you should, <laughs> you should be pleased with yourself i am i'm very pleased but well, we've um we've produced these in in a mm. small batch kind yes. of like a collector's item i guess and um and yeah, it just requires a little bit of knowledge with working with resin 3D printed parts and, um, you know, some painting, gluing and assembly. And um, with a little bit of luck, you might end up with something that looks as good as that. Yep. Um, and there's even a powered version. So we did like Koi Classics, powered, non-powered. This one's a display one. Um, but you can also build a version that adapts to use a Kato uh, N-gauge chassis. Because Plugger, we did another one of these. That's correct, yes. yeah. And we became affectionately known as Plugger. Yep. Yep. Plugger's on holiday one. at the moment. He is. He's on holiday at the moment. Yep. He might pop up Traveling. anywhere. Um, but he was powered, wasn't he? Yeah. He went on track, didn't he? Yes. That yeah, would have this guy underneath it. Yep. That's fair. So if we wanted to retrofit it, the base just comes off, and we just slap that inside. Did you glue it, or am I going to break it? Are you going to pull it really hard and, like, think, embarrass yourself? I think it stays together for the, for the remainder <laughs> of its life. But, but yeah, here's, here's but the... Uh, and there's our little the box. kit itself. And it's our box. That's, That's it. it. Hearn's Workshop Comical Tram W Class. So a cute little proportioned, um, you know, W Class iconic Melbourne tram. Yep. So really cool. Mm. So yeah, there's a lot of options for Melbourne trams. Well, <laughs> you've blown my socks off there, young Marlon, because I thought you were going to come in and talk trains, and you've completely thrown a curveball at me. And here we are talking trams. That's it. I the like the car guy thinks these are really seriously cool, and they are. But it's going to be even cooler when we see it run. Well, let's do that. It's, it's just such an iconically Melbourne thing. Are you driving, Beige? Can, can I put it at full throttle? I would recommend probably just nice and no, nice no, and slow. No. Am I driving? Classic, if you like Classic to, yeah. responsible right. train right. drive. Well, we've got the click on. I've got to make sure that you've got the direction. Uh, yeah, I'll yeah. Push. I'll stop it. I, I don't think he's... That's okay. I think he's not on. I I'll think maybe, it. just maybe that switch needs a little bit of work i think it needs a magic touch i'd say, touch. I'd say you that touch. you played with it before and broke it bj well there we go look. they just needed a bit more throttle i think now oh, put... did it? oh here there we you go. go there you go oh, somebody who knows what they're doing well that's actually lit on the inside it i'm is, sure you yeah. can actually see that on fully the screen lit. fully lit fully lit, <laughs> fully lit. <laughs> all right but yeah working headlight can confirm there you go so you can play with that at night that's that cool. would look really cool if it, this one was working because then it would look like the restaurant tram because that always had dimly lit lights it inside. did yeah yeah well there are there is i believe a powered version of that one um and you could replicate that oh, my, oh here we go here we go. hang on here it does have it, 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 has, it has a funny switch it just it requires you are not licensed to operate it requires that, a special touch hang on, yeah it's, a bit, it's, it's a bit like turn it up to 11. just a way of you know controlling the choke that that handy old um Send oh, it. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. 
There it is. Just send it, Beach. Isn't that amazing? You get straight so excited when the switch is in the right spot. Straight into the side of the laptop. Oh, you want the full throttle? Yeah. Oh. No, no, no. Do, do a high speed run Everybody's from one side to the other. <laughs> that is cool. I like it. Oh, well. Like turbo charge. Once again, Marlon, you have well educated me. I'm a better man now than I was when you walked in, that's for sure. Glad to be of service. You're welcome. Well, thank you for coming in and showing us all things trains. That's that was great. Does anybody have any, any questions in relation to that that I can answer? Well, I just popped up this like guy thought that was fully lit. Yeah. <laughs> and it is. I think we, we, yeah, we demonstrated that. Yes, it is a matter of fact, it is. Awesome. All right. Well, thanks, guys. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for coming in. And some interesting things, and particularly very Melbourne as well. Yeah. Non mistakenly Melbourne. I lo we love Melbourne trams. We do. We do because we use them to get to work, usually. Yeah. Well, they're just always there in the background. I'm just really, just the, the noise is familiar, and you know, it's, it's always just there. It wouldn't be Melbourne without It's a part of the soundscape it of is. Melbourne as well as the space. That's right. Anyway, thanks very much. Thanks guys. for coming in, Martin. Have a great weekend. Thanks.